Okay, so I'm back. Had to change locations and do a couple of things. I'm sitting here at FedEx Field now. I don't know if y'all can see the stadium or not. But it's there. Anyway, so as I was saying before, God, why did I get the feeling this is going to be part three? So anyway, as I was saying before, yeah, uh, before I get started, there's going to be some, some things that piss some people off, and because quite honestly, white folk don't understand. I mean, some of you do. Some of you actually do. I'll give you that. Some of you actually do, but not very many of you do. And a lot of y'all ain't willing to accept what I'm about to say. So, yeah, if you're shallow or you can't handle the truth, and you know I don't bullshit y'all, but if y'all are shallow and you might want to get off now because I'm about to say some things. So, as I was saying in the last video, I made a video about some things that happened to me and my ex. Now, as you know, my ex is white. All the way white. She ain't like me. Like, I'm, you know, she's all the way white. And, uh, so, here, if you're driving an older car, they're going to pull you over. Not if you're white. No, if you're white, they'll just let you slide. Now, I ain't saying it don't happen to white folk, because I know quite a few white folk that go through this shit, too. Which leads me to another point, but I'll get to that in a second. Uh, so, if you're in an older car, they just assume that you're doing something wrong. Uh, profiling, yeah. Most of the time, it's profiling. Um... Because, I mean, let's face it, black folks smoke weed. <laughs> That's what we do. Uh, not all of us. There's some of us that don't do nothing at all. But they figure if we can find a little bit of weed in the car, we can lock them up or something. Well, this particular occasion, I mean, at the time... I was I I mean even now why do people feel the need to come over here and sit with me? So even now why 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 you got all of this empty park take a look at this you got all this damn empty parking lot and these motherfuckers wanna come over here and sit with me. And they heard of social distancing distance your fucking self. I hate people. No, I take that back. And you know, the funny thing, I'm, I don't hate people. I just hate idiots. It's like, you got all of this free space and you want to come over here with me. I just don't understand. I just don't understand. And she better not be learning how to drive because if she hit my shit, I'm going to have a fit. I have enough problems, man. That's, anyway. Now she's going to look at this shit. Look at this. Look, look at this. Just look at this. What did I do today to deserve? And if I move, if I move, like I, I, I ain't in a problem. I can move. But if I do, I guarantee you somebody's going to find me and come over to me. It never fails. She better be learning how to drive because she sure as shit can't park. Anyway. Now I have a distraction. See, my thing is, like, I know I'm going off on a whole side rant here, but, like, I'm really protective of myself. And honestly, I don't trust nobody. <laughs> I don't trust nobody and I question everything so and you know that's the only way to be when you're from here because everybody's for themselves here it's not like Baltimore where people are you know they they're easy to talk to so to speak and and they kind of hang out with each other and everybody know everybody no this is DC nope we can't be brotherly here no we have to be on our guard all the time 
depending on where you're at. Okay, now that I've talked up a migraine, so yeah, as I was saying, so where was I? I don't even remember. So this video, right? This video is of us getting pulled over, basically. Um, this is the aftermath of us getting pulled over, and um, yeah, I was going the fuck off, completely going off, um, because we had just got back here, I just bought the car, just bought it, just bought it, just bought the car, he claimed he pulled me over for a broken tail light, but that's not the re he didn't see a broken tail light when he's coming from the other way so let's be realistic he saw the car and he wanted to turn around on us is what that was and that's what he did and i i called it i called it i called it before it happened i said we're about to get pulled over and I, he was sitting there, and I said, yep, oh, oh, we, we're about to watch, watch what happened. We're about to go. Now, see, she's from Indiana. She ain't never been subject to this bullshit. So this was a whole new thing for her, you know. Um, Because where she comes from, let's just be honest. If you've seen any of the videos from when I was in Indiana, it's racist as fuck. And um, so, you know she had a blind eye to it and it's even she had to say something about it because i guess she hadn't been with a black guy in this sort of environment in, in like a real area where there's black folk you know so and this would happen every once in a while you know and um it was only because she was white. And we've had a couple incidents like that. And I think I might have made a couple of videos, but I don't think I posted them or maybe I didn't. I might have posted them and then took them down. That's probably what I did. Because, like, I don't like. I mean, y'all know me as kind of level headed most of the time, but, like, there's only a couple of things that piss me off, and ignorance is one of them, man. And and when it comes to that racism shit, man, I don't play, you know. And uh, cause I don't understand it. It's it's who in their right mind just one day up and decided, well, I'm gonna hate that group of people. It makes no fucking sense. And see, the white folk, y'all don't have to go through it so y'all don't get what we have to go through so when we say we're going through something y'all probably call it bs i know a lot of people that i've told stories to and they think i'm bullshitting i'm lying i'm making it up no i'm not making it up if i tell a story it's 100 percent true <laughs> i might even be missing a couple of parts believe me and, you know, they laugh it off. Oh, you didn't get pulled up. Yeah, I did. You know. So, although I know, like, y'all want to understand and y'all want to, you know, I get that. I, I get it. But, see, we have to live this. 24-7. 24, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So when somebody, when a cop pulls somebody over and shoots them, kills them, whatever, no, it doesn't do nothing for me. I, I mean, yeah, I'm sorry, dude, you know, got killed and all. But the reality is, for us, that's life. There's a reason we don't call the cops. There's a reason for that. We don't call the cops. And when we do call the cops, it's some serious shit. We don't call the cops. I mean, now some of us do. But being where I'm from... You don't call the cops. <laughs> you don't. You handle it yourself. And if you can't handle it yourself, you let it go. Or if you don't want to handle it yourself, you let it go. If it ain't that serious, you let it go. You know, we are not a hateful people. We're not born to hate. We. That's probably why we don't understand where y'all getting this shit from. And, you know, the funny thing 
it's not all of y'all. It's not, it's not, it's not all of y'all. You know, I can't say the vast majority, but a lot of you are okay. You know, it's just y'all don't understand, so y'all don't know what not to do. Like, for instance, if there's a black guy just happen to be standing around, you want to spark up a conversation with him, that's fine. But don't go to the point of saying, I have a friend that's black and such and such and such and such. No. No. <laughs> don't do that. Um, I mean, you know, it's little things like that that, you know, you might think that you're not racist, but you might come off as racist to the person that you're talking to if you start that white black shit <laughs> yes we know you're white yes we know we're black yes you know we're black yes you know you're white fucking duh get over it I mean I hate to say this can't we just get the fuck along <laughs> shit aside from that because y'all aren't the, the ones that say shit like that aren't the ones that's killing us the ones that's killing us are the ones that ain't saying nothing at all. Those are the ones that's killing us. See, here in D.C., you don't have open racism until you start getting to the outskirts, like way up up Marlboro and uh, Crofton and out there. Like, there's actually sundown towns here that aren't sundown towns anymore, but still got the old folk living there. Yeah, that's where you get the hidden racism from. So, let's talk about hidden racism. Hidden racism is that I'm going to smile in your face, talk to you, and then stab you in the back when you turn around. Nigger. That's what that is. That job that you want to get so bad. and then, Oh, yes, Mr. Jones. We'll be in touch with you. You should get the job. And such and he's making these ridiculous promises and then they don't call you. Now, that could be a few things. But most of the time, did he hire a white guy? Now, it could be a bunch of applicants. could be a bunch of applicants. Most of them could be white. Might not be nothing. However, most of the time, here, <laughs> I can't speak for too many places, but here, that's what it is. And it's things like that. that I mean, those are just examples, but it's things like that. Things like that. You know? And, um, I mean, like the Mexicans out here, they kind of have it worse because they catch it from all sides. But let's talk about the Mexicans for a second. I ain't got nothing against no Mexican. They bust ass to get over here. First, if they're illegal, they bust ass to get here. If you, you, I mean, we talking about thousands of miles. <laughs> you know, you, you're a long way from the border. So they bust ass to get here. All they want to do is work and party. Given a lot of them don't like us either. However, we're all on the same boat. And there's black Mexicans too. They have a saying down in Panama. And I know this because my ex, one of my exes is Panama, pa Panamanian. They have a saying down there that they hide the grandmother. Because sometimes the grandmother is black. So yeah. Like, it, it comes from all sides. You know what I'm saying? Just because you have, like, you might have a Mexican cop and a white cop show up. Don't think that you're equal. You're not. I mean, I'm talking about, well, you're just not. I mean, if you're black and you think the Mexican, because he's, no, uh-uh, no. That shoots you just as fast. And uh, given they're not as brutal as <laughs> y'all white folk. <laughs> and don't take no offense to this because I'm saying y'all white folk. I mean, I understand, like, if y'all was to say y'all black folk, yeah, I get it. But let's just call it what it is. We have an honest conversation. And like I said, I don't bullshit you. So let's just call it what it is. Y'all white folk don't get it. And see, there's no way for me to make you get it. It's the fucked up thing. Like, there's no way for me to put you in my skin and make you walk my walk and make you talk my talk and all of that for you to understand 
this is some bullshit and this is what we're going through on a daily basis. <laughs> and it's been going on for years. Just see, it's just televised now. It's been going on for years. It's been going on for years. I got beat up by a female cop because I was afraid to bust her in the damn face over in Columbia, which is where my son's mother was living before my son was born and we was living together but I guess it don't belong in that area I had a truck that was just like this one but more raggedy and it just oh that doesn't look right around here and once again it doesn't just happen to black folk uh, as much as some black folk are going to disagree with that it happens to white folk too see I don't believe and this is the point I was talking about earlier I don't believe, as far as the cops go, I don't believe that it's always a racist situation. Because sometimes you get a black cop. Sometimes. And he's just as bad as the white cops. Also, sometimes... Well, I, ain't gonna, I don't want to go there. But I don't believe that it's always a racist situation. Sometimes I think the cop is just a damn asshole. You know, and he wants to fuck with somebody. It's a control thing. It's a power and control thing. And uh and it ain't that it ain't that it ain't black on black either, because it is sometimes. See, I think that it might be them against us, depending on where you're at. I'm almost sure of this, only because I've been pulled over in every car that I've ever had. I've had 159 cars or something by now. I only believe this because of that. And if I've been pulled over 159 times, and that's just one per car, that's not including all the times per car repeatedly week after week, month after month, and all of that. No, it's not including that. How many times have you been pulled over? Yeah. And then out of the times that you've been pulled over, how many times did you get locked up for nothing? How many times were you shot at? I have a car story that I got shot at it by the damn cops and it bullet holes all in the damn car. Only because I took the fuck off. <laughs> if I didn't take off, I'd be dead. So, I mean, you know, and didn't do nothing. Didn't do nothing. My buddy was running out of the... We, there's this place down Fredericksburg called uh, the Double T Diner, I think. Well, we was fucking around. We, we used to do the party thing every weekend. And we came running out of there. He jumped in the car. And I was already driving. He come running to the car. He jumped in the car and I went and took off. Well, the end result of that was we were accused for robbing the joint. When we go there every weekend, I mean, it was, the, the people knew us in there. So the cop went as far as to call the place and make sure we didn't rob it. And it was a whole thing. A whole thing. A whole thing. And it didn't just happen with him. Um, I had a... Oh, I'm going to have to tell those stories another time. I don't even want to indulge in that right now. When <sighs> There's so many things to say that I just don't have the time on my phone to say. I got eight minutes left. Anyway, so, and then on top of that, being nomadic. So, y'all are nomadic, okay. Let me tell you the difference between y'all being nomadic and us being nomadic. Do we get kicked out of the same places? Yes. Do we get harassed first? Yes. Badly. Because what they're expecting is there to be something illegal in your shit. And then they're going to go in there, rummage through it. They're going to tear things up. They're going to tear things up. Mind you, this is just about every damn time I get pulled over. But they're going to tear some shit up like they did over here. In the, if you see the, on top of the door like they did there. I mean, it, they're going to find something to break. They're determined to find the drugs that don't exist in the fucking shit. But see, y'all white folk may not. It could be 50-50. 
You may, but I doubt it. Have to go through that. And then every time. And then you got to think, if I don't have that many time, many cars, and I've been pulled over more times than the amount of cars that I've had, how many times has there been where this shit has happened? But that's aside the point. So being nomadic while black. Depending on where you're at, not the easiest thing in the world. Because they will throw your ass out or lock your ass up wherever you are. Believe it. For nothing. Spent more nights in jail for nothing than I have for doing something. <laughs> My white buddy, who used to run with me, they get him too. The difference is license and registration. So you give them license and registration. What did I do? Oh, I'm just checking the area. Okay. And they let him go. He wait for me down the street. Come over to me, license and registration. Yeah, sure, okay, what up? I give him license and registration. Don't give him no attitude, because they shoot you. Sir, I'm gonna need to search the car. Okay, what did I do? Uh, that's not important. I'm gonna need you to step out. Uh, step out for what? Because we need to do a check, and we need to do this, and we need to do that. But what did I do? <laughs> and then when you tell them no, that's when they get mad and they call in reinforcements and dogs and shit. One time a dog threw up in my damn car. I damn near, I, I did go to jail for something that time. Because I, not only did I go off, but when they went to put the handcuffs on me, I got, he got one handcuff on me and I got, man... They threw that out because I assaulted the police officer more than once. But they <laughs> threw that one out because the cop was in the wrong. It was an illegal search and seizure. And there was the gun that was in my car was my gun and it was legal. And I was in a legal state for open carry and it wasn't loaded and the bullets wasn't even in the car. <laughs> Can't do that. Can't do that. You cannot do that. That is not. <laughs> and then we're not supposed to know what our rights are and what our rights ain't. They just assume that we're ignorant to the law based on how we look or how we dress. There's times where I had cornrows, I had my hair long, and they just instantly assume because I'm driving this car with gold wheels, yes, I had a car with gold wheels, that I'm just some dumb nigga that don't know nothing about nothing. Yeah, I know the law. I know enough to get me by. And if I could, I would know more. But that would almost make me a goddamn lawyer. And that's another thing. You need to know the law if you're black. You need to know what can and cannot happen where you are. Now, I ain't saying be an asshole when a cop pulls you over because you might get a friendly cop. I've had friendly cops. I'm not coming down on the cops. However, <laughs> majority of them were assholes and some and racist and fucked up. <laughs> Believe me. I had one take me out to the woods and just leave me. It happens. It happened. I was a lot younger then. But it happens. But I'm not saying to be an asshole to the cop because you don't do that. Because you might get a friendly one. And if he's friendly, okay, cool. Give him your license and registration. It's not that big of a deal. You know, at the same time, he should be able to tell you at least what you did. I'd say probably before you give them the license and registration, honestly. You know, but you need to know... You need to know your rights. And you need to know the laws. Because they're going to try you. They're going to try you. And they're going to find a reason. And God knows, if your license and registration ain't in your hand when that motherfucker walks up to your door, do not get that shit out. Because that will get you shot. I think I'm playing. See, y'all white folk ain't got to go through that. Y'all white folk ain't got to do none of that. None of that. Because they pull y'all over. Well, a lot of y'all are smart enough to have license registration on you. But some of y'all go in your wallet. Some of y'all go in your purse. Some of y'all go in your glove compartment. We cannot do that shit. <laughs> we will get killed. 
If we go in our glove compartment, first thing they're going to say, he got a gun. Oh, fuck. And that's that for that. That's what made me pull off in the black car. Now, well, that's a whole nother story. But, yeah, I was not going to die that night. <laughs> I will go to prison. I am not going to get be dead. <laughs> dead is not good. No, we will be having a bad day at that point. And uh, they like shooting us. We're target practice for them. But anyway, man. There's a lot more I'm going to say. I'm going to say. I'm going to repost that video. And y'all can go back. It's last year around this time. Y'all can go back and see it. I'm going to repost that video. Probably a little later. And y'all can see. But. It's very vulgar. And uh, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of confusion in that video. A lot of confusion. So if you don't quite understand it, then, then just whatever. But it's, it's a lot going on there. A lot going on. It's a shame that it's 2020 and we still dealing with this bullshit. Really. I mean... The fact that I got to tell my son to watch out for the cops is fucking ridiculous. If they kill us and we kill us, and I'm speaking to the black folk now, if they killing us and we killing us, ain't going to be no more us. And that's exactly what they're going for. So, and another problem we have is that we can't stick together for shit. We need to be able to stick together, man. Because before, if we can't stick together, then none of this shit is going to go away anytime soon. And I don't just mean the black folk. Well, I'm mainly talking to the black folk. But the white folk, y'all need to get with the black folk. See, this whole thing is a setup and it's designed to keep us apart. To keep the white from the black and the black from the white, the old from the young, and so on and so forth, man. If we stick together, we can do something about this shit. But if we ain't sticking together, we ain't doing shit about nothing. Nothing. Not a goddamn thing. But we can't stick together. Because every person's for themselves. Anyway, if you ain't told somebody you love them today, please tell them you love them today. Because there ain't no question about it. Somebody's going to die. Somebody's going to die. And hopefully it ain't you. All right. I'm going to make another video about this, but it's going to be, I don't know, another day or so. This shit bothers me. But I'll talk to y'all later, man. Stay safe.